Welcome to Helmont DIY, everyone. I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at uh, checking this motor and finding out whether it works or not. Um, we'll be using a, a real simple way to do this. Uh, it, is, it does involve electricity and some wiring, so uh, I'll show you what, what I did, but uh, you're on your own. So make sure you use care and caution and uh, safety. I'm not responsible for any problems or accidents they might cause. Um, be sure you're comfortable with what you're doing uh, and make sure you're not unsafe in any way. So this is a, uh, in a treadmill, this is a two horsepower, 90 volt uh, DC motor. And, and I'll be using a battery from a cordless drill set uh, to provide some power because the, uh, the power supply that this hooks up to uh, through a circuit board is kind of fried, but I want to find out and confirm that the motor itself is good. So, let's take a look at what I'm, uh, how I'm going to do this. Alright, so, with this burned out, I reached in and was able to remove, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I was able to remove this small um, pin that tied on the circuit board and it looks like it melted and got damaged right there. So we need to figure out if the motors failed or if it's more from the circuit board. Um, so looking at the motor nameplate, I see the volts over here, it's 90 uh, volts DC. And so because it's DC, I know I can use uh, some DC electrical um, battery to test it. So. Let's take a look at uh, one way to test this. I've got my 18-volt um, battery. This is a DC battery uh, for my cordless drill. And we're going to take this is a little bit uh, a little bit hokey, but bottom line, I've had to get some wires. So I took an old um, extension cord. I recommend you uh, don't mess around with the electricity unless you have some good experience and know what you're doing. Um, I can't be responsible for any, uh, any stupidity out there uh, or any accidents. So uh, use caution and care. Make sure you're comfortable with uh, doing whatever uh, you choose to do. But this is what I did. So I'm going to connect to my red and black wire here. I'm just going to put one side in there. And Get the other one in here, make sure nothing's crossed. All right, we're gonna put one on the positive and one on the negative. And lo and behold, our motor gets going, the belt moves. So that suggests to me that the problem is not the motor, but really the circuit board over here. They got burned up. So let's see if we can figure out what we need to do there. So. There you have it. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, a little trick to figure out and confirm that this motor was in fact functional. Obviously it's not a full test confirming that everything's working properly in the motor, uh, but it is a quick way to check, uh, check a little bit on its performance. Thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. Hope you found it helpful. Leave some comments, like the video, um, and have a great day.